Hello everyone, my Spirited Living family. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching it. Uh, enjoy. It is afternoon on Wednesday, July 28th in New York City right now. And we are back again for another boogie <laughs> with our inner goddess team dancing with our divinely feminine wisdom and as you know if, if you've joined me here before that it doesn't matter what your gender is we all have qualities of the divine feminine the divine masculine within us and with the divine feminine it's very much about honoring our emotions honoring our honoring our intuition celebrating our bodies celebrating nature and celebrating the earth through our bodies and this, the, the goddess that I've chosen to really celebrate today is all about the earth. And she's one that I would say most people have heard of because it's, it's such a, to me, that Pachamama's name it just feels cozy to me. <laughs> it actually means world mother. And she is the Incan or the Andean, Andean from the Andes Mountains um, in South America. She is um, their equivalent of the Virgin Mary. Pachamama was originally uh, from the Incan people years ago, the, from the Incas, um, from millennia ago in the uh, Chechen speaking, and still in the Chechen speaking um, uh, area of and, and it's got a one it's got a beautiful poetic name uh, Tawan Tinsuyu <laughs> are the the um, ancient the former Inca Empire and it encompasses Peru and Ecuador uh, Bolivia parts of uh, Argentina and in the Inca uh, mythology in Incan mythology Pachamama was a dragon goddess who lived beneath the mountains and she would occasionally rise up to, uh, and, and that's when earthquakes would happen, uh, to, to ask for her offerings. She was a, originally a fertility goddess. And now, even today, still today, you can go into the high Andes Mountains, some of the highest places um, on the planet where the air is very thin. And the Koya people there have a, a month-long celebration. Of course, they celebrate her every day, and as I think, hopefully, we, we all <laughs> celebrate uh, the Earth Mother every day. But they this is a month-long celebration that begins on August 1st, which is this Sunday, so you have time to prepare for it yourself if you love doing that. And it's every weekend a different town in that vicinity, in that area, celebrates her and does a, a big um, festival. And basically what they do is they dig um, big holes in the earth and make offerings to her, you know, understanding, embracing her as the earth mother that she is. And they throw into this hole chicha, which is a, a fermented corn brew that is um, indigenous, that is native to that area. They throw in corn, potatoes, um, uh, what else, tobacco in, in the form of cigarettes and, and other ways. Um, look at my list, Co uh, coca leaves, and just all kinds of other things to, to make offerings to, um, to Pachamama. Because this time of year is actually winter in the Southern Hemisphere. And this is, these are some of the coldest months, which are when they need the sustenance um, especially, and they, they will shortly start their planting season. So by making these offerings to Pachamama, they are calling on her to keep them warm, keep them safe, keep them healthy, and guide them in their planting so that they can um, you know, have, what, have the sustenance that they need uh, going forward. So I think, um, what else do I wanna tell you about her? Look at all my little notes. They, uh, I found this wonderful piece on, online about people who had gone to one of these celebrations. And they, and I'll read it to you because it just sounds so beautiful to me. There were, there were a couple prayers from the Koya uh, leaders. These are the, the Koya is the, um, are the people that live in these high Andean mountain areas. And they, they refer to a, a keka, 
um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, who is the female version of the Tiwanakan god of abundance and prosperity in the mythology and fo fo folklore of the people from the um, Indian High Plains. So this, these are the prayers that they, that they speak, um, and this is from uh, Koya leaders uh, invoking Pachamama. Pachamama, sacred earth, I am the Ekeka, and I am going to ask for, in the name of those who are not here from the past, I am going to represent our ancestors. They are not here, but I am here. I am the Ekeka. Pachamama, sacred earth, give us health and strength. For all Pachamama, sacred earth, I am going to give you this little bit to drink. This little bit I will give you so that all evil can disappear. So you will give me health and strength. And that is their prayer as they make their offerings to her. Apparently, yes, the festivals are big and, um, and beautiful. And families also do lots of cooking on the eve of July 31st, the, the night before the, this festival, this month-long festival of Pachamama begins. And then they make offerings to her the next day on August 1st based on, uh, you know, with all the things that they've, that they've made for her. Um, let's see. I think that's all. Yeah. I just thought she was, um, I, I went to a Pachamama, actually I think it was a summer solstice ritual years ago that the, um, I think the New York Shamanic Circle put on uh, at the Open Center here in New York City. And just beautiful with um, all kinds of indigenous to the air, well, as much as they could get. I believe it was um, uh, one, one of the Koya uh, leaders was, was the one who facilitated it, but it was, it was beautiful with, um, and, and a, just a reminder that all year round, and, and the, certainly the, the, these ancestors of, of the Inca uh, civilization, the, the Koya and others that live in this high Andean plain, the Andes Mountains, um, you know, embrace what, whatever her, they embrace her all year round. So I'm gonna share with you, um, this will be a short one, I think, uh, back in April when we were celebrating Earth Day, I shared with you one of my favorite Earth Mother uh, chants, which seems most appropriate for today. I will share with you another one that honors, uh, honors the World Mother, not necessarily the Earth Mother, but I think the World Mother, which is what Pachamama uh, translates into, um, really I think encompasses the, the land, the sea, um, you know, the air, all of that. So I'll, I'll sing for you the one that we did for um, our own Earth Mother, for Mother Earth back on uh, Earth Day in April, but then I'll share with you this other one that, that I am dedicating to Pachamama today. So the one that we did before for our Earth Mother, whatever her name is, was, the earth is our mother, we must take care of her. The earth is our mother, we must take care of her. Hey, yana, ho, yana, hey, yan, yan. Hey, yana, ho, yana, hey, yan, yan. Her sacred ground we walk upon. With every step we take her sacred ground we walk upon. With every step we take. Hey, yana, ho, yana, hey, yan, yan. Hey, yana, ho, yana, hey, yan, yan. So that, I believe, is from North American indigenous traditions. And I realized I forgot to show you this beautiful, there are lots of representations. If you Google images for Pachamama, you'll find all kinds, but this is the one that really spoke to me the most because I felt like she, um, she wasn't some idealized version. She's a, um, she looks like a wise woman and she, um, she is the mountain, she is the earth and she's got waterfalls um, hanging down from her. I hope you can see her really well. 
She has waterfalls streaming down her. She has, she's holding a crystal and she is, she is the mother. She's got air for feathers, um, must be fire on her somewhere, you know, really showing her elemental power. Um, so that's a beautiful representation of our Pachamama. And then I'll leave you with this more uh, uh, expansive <laughs> fire, water, air, and earth rendition of an Earth Mother chant. And it goes, oh my goodness, I blanked out and I didn't write it down. <laughs> um, oh, great mother, her son, uh, sky and sea, you are inside and all around me. Oh, great mother, earth, sun, sky, and sea, you are inside and all around me. Oh, great mother, earth, sun, sky, and sea, you are inside and all So maybe do some extra cooking yourself on Pacha, the, the eve of Pachamama's month-long festival, which starts on August 1st, and make your own offerings to her and honor Mother Earth, honor the world mother in all of her aspects, in all of her names, in all of her faces. Thank you so much for joining me and have a beautiful week. We'll see you back here next week. Namaste. Bye for now.